Hey all, welcome back to another mini-sode where today we'll be taking a look at 50 Cent Bulletproof. The story has you playing as Fiddy, getting a call from his homie K-Dog, telling him he's in trouble and he needs his help. When Fiddy and G-Unit rush to help him, K-Dog is kidnapped and Fiddy is shot nine times. Because they had to put that in there. After he recovers, he goes to try and find K-Dog, not knowing that there's something bigger going on. As you'd expect from a game like this, the story isn't very good. It's your basic revenge tale, just coded in 50 Cent self-promotion. Which I'll get to that in a minute. Three days ago, half dead, if not more. Yo, man, try to relax. I'll give you something for the pain. <laughs> hey, we all need our medicine sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Gameplay-wise, Bulletproof is a third-person shooter similar to the Max Payne series where you go through each stage, shooting anyone in your way to complete your tasks, all while diving around and firing from cover. To help you out, you'll have quite an arsenal of guns ranging from handguns, assault rifles, shotguns, and explosive weapons, with most guns having a dual wield option, as well as counter kills that can take out anyone in one hit, if you can even pull them off. See, enemies move much faster than Fiddy does, so trying to hit anyone is quite a chore, leading to more spray and prey encounters. On some occasions, you'll get help from an AI partner or two, mostly members of G-Unit. In fact, they help you out so much, there are times you won't even need to fight as they tend to do all the work for you. In between stages is a hub world where you can buy new guns, armor, new counter kills, music and movies, more on that one in a bit too, and health items like painkillers and vitamin water. Ugh. I will admit that Bulletproof has some neat ideas here. The thing is, other games have pulled them off much better than this, Red Dead Revolver being a great example. Plus, with Fiddy being so slow to aim and no run button, the game just feels, well, slow. On top of that, having the quick kill button being the same as the pickup button was a huge mistake. The developer should have had a dedicated melee button instead, but eh, what can you do? Visually, Bulletproof captures the look of everyone involved very well. Fiddy, G-Unit, Dr. Dre, and Eminem all look like their real life selves, while other supportive characters look pretty good as well. Stages on the other hand are kind of bland and ugly. Whether that was the idea or not, I'm not sure, but it's still unimpressive if it was. For audio, the music has consisted of nothing but music from 50 Cent and G-Unit, with some tracks exclusive to the game. Hell, you can even customize your own Fiddy playlist with tracks you buy, as well as watch the music videos for some of them. And since Fiddy and his crew's likeness are in the game, they provided the voices as well, with Dr. Dre playing a weapons vendor, and Eminem as a crooked cop that helps Fiddy out. Was a corrupt cop, a rogue detective who played by his own rules. They said cops are made of blue. Well, this cat was all about the green. Well, well, look who it is. For a while there, I thought I lost my best customer. It'll take more than nine bullets to bring me down. Yeah, thanks. I'll remember that. So what's up? I need some information. Ever see those skateboards? The new fiberglass ones with the chrome wheels? My kid loves those things. Fucking expensive, though. Especially on a cop salary. Here we go. What? I'm just saying, they're a lot of money. Okay, how much? For a fucking skateboard? Kids got expensive taste. They do an okay job, but there's one character that's just annoying as hell. Popcorn. Just, just listen for yourself. Give me that shit. What the fuck, man? You out your goddamn mind, you stupid fuck. Mama says stupid is as stupid does. <laughs> what the... Man, hey. Popcorn's whole life was movies. He quoted them all the time. Before it shut down, he practically lived in this place. After it shut down, he did live in it. He turned it into a shooting range. <laughs> what is your major malfunction, numbnuts? Hey. 50 Cent Bulletproof is a shameless self-promotion of the rapper, right down to every last drop of vitamin water. While there's nothing wrong with trying to push your brand, this game is kind of a terrible representation of it. 
It's a boring, slow shooter that tried and failed to compete with better games out at the time. Even if you secretly wish you were in G-Unit, it's hard for me to recommend this game at all. You're better off playing the PSP version, which turns the game into a top-down shooter, or better yet, and I can't believe I'm saying this, play the far superior 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. At least that game was done right, and it has co-op. And with that, this is Pity, I mean, this is the Dolly Popka. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.